That's, uh, we didn't videotape yesterday. I forgot the camera at home. Uh, so uh, uh, this is uh, a few hours yesterday and a few hours today. Uh, I'm showing you this. This uh, we bought this handsaw uh, because uh, all I have. I don't have a, uh, a gas generator or a welder generator as much as I'd love to have one. I just have this little uh, battery inverter pack. And that's good for charging up the uh, Milwaukee impact driver. But that's about it. We did uh, try to run a reciprocating Milwaukee Sawzall, but it didn't do it. So uh, just so you know, it's amazing what one man, or two men actually, me and David, uh, but uh, together, or actually he and I working on different projects here, with a uh, little 10 inch handsaw, Swanson Speed Square, a uh, <clears throat> little level, and uh, an impact driver, hammer and nails. Voila. You can uh, create quite a bit with just a little bit of nothing. So we're not quite done yet, but I'll give you the grand tour of what we're doing here. Um, <clears throat> if you were, let me uh, kind of head back a little bit, like we're gonna walk up the trail. And uh, <clears throat> you can see from the side, if the kids are coming in, you guys have a couple of different options. David built this trap door. And what we will do is on this on this beam right here, this joist here, we'll uh, have a rope ladder coming down and it'll be anchored to the ground so that you can climb up a rope ladder through the hatch. We also have the makings. This is the foundation of the slide. Now it looks like a ladder right now and it can be used as a ladder right now, but this is the foundations of a slide running at a uh, 14 and 12 or 50 degree pitch. So uh, you can see we've got it fairly secured. We get a couple of little bird's mouths here and uh, got it, it's completely solid in there. And uh, <clears throat> a little slide. And for us old folks, uh, we have the uh, step ladder. Uh, at a little bit of an angle. We don't have handrails yet, but uh, it works pretty good. So now we come up, we got handrails, and this is the opening for the zip line. The zip line will be again on this tree here, probably up in that crotch. That's what I'm thinking. We'll uh, attach it so it doesn't damage the tree, but that crotch will keep it from falling down. And then it'll run from this opening here, which will probably do some sort of, David came up with the idea of running like a wire, or a couple of wires here with a little lasp, clasp or something, um, so that people don't accidentally woo, walk off. Anyway, the zip line will go from here over to that tree. I know there's lots of trees. I'll zoom in on that straight one, not the two to the side that are leaning. But that straight one right there, the zip line will be up in the tree up there, but it'll have some slack to it so that when you actually take off of this, see that kind of dark green patch right there? That's kind of what we're going to shoot for as the landing patch. And if you don't let go, you'll go up again and then slide back down. And you'll uh, drop at the low spot about right in there. That's the plan anyway. And then the, the slide, uh, this isn't complete, but uh, there'll be some blocking in here so that you step up and we'll put a side rail or something. We're gonna get something uh, kind of like David's been talking about, like the countertop stuff, uh, like Formica, and uh, uh, to run uh, like a half inch uh, sheet of plywood with Formica or something on it to uh, uh, uses the slippery slippery uh, <clears throat> so that's that's what we got we've got the handrails all up um, so that the kids can't fall off and all that good stuff so there's there we have it oh trap door from the top got a little handle and you can pull it up and down you go and like I said we'll have a 
rope ladder on this side over here going down. We'll put it at a little bit of an angle so it's a little easier to get up instead of a straight vertical. And that's that's it. You can see there's so you know where the gun range is from where this is because this is what we're kind of keeping it away from the kids. There's the shed over there and David's truck and the shooting range. You can see that green grass out there beyond David's truck. That's part of the shooting range out there. So this is a long ways away from the shooting range and you can kind of see at the back of David's truck that real, uh, let me get on this side of the tree, you can kind of see that black mound that is the fire pit. So that's how far away we are from the, uh, this is actually where that, uh, where I was gonna, we had the uh, camp out a few weeks ago. This is where we had the tent with the ladies, uh, a toilet back here for their privacy in case they had to go. Okay, so that's it. We'll uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.